Hello and welcome back to my channel. So after last week's success, uh, this week we're gonna do the final stone that was up for vote, uh, the one that nobody voted for, um, and it's this one. So we see a sand, and it looks like it also has a. a line of putch here but it has color a lot of green uh, and we know that it goes on the other side we see it here so in theory in theory we could have a stone that covers basically this so it wouldn't be very big but i can see a small a small uh, square or small uh, a circle in there, maybe even an oval, not a big one, but if it's uh, if the play of color is nice, could still be looking at a stone worth a fair penny. I'm gonna grind it from this side, uh, the white cap, just because that way I will be on the darker patch instead of looking at it on the white so that's gonna be better so I'm gonna I'm gonna get started I'm gonna check the color and I'm gonna hope very hard that it looks as good as it could look I will be back shortly and I am back and not everything is rosy so this is the stone I'm not done I'm gonna keep going but I wanted to show it to you right now uh, so this is the stone as it currently is. I think maybe some more water. So, okay. This is on as it currently is. So this is the side that only at the window. And you see it's really not that deep. So I kind of don't want to go much deeper on this side. I Where the best color is actually right now. You see this green flash. Uh, on this side, I still have... A lot of leeway so I've been trying to grind this side down but it's still very messy uh, you see actually there's a big dark spot here that doesn't seem to have any color which is a bummer but maybe under it's gonna be something because you also see that here there is a, just a flash of <coughs> of orange so it's possible that there are actually some more color on, under here. I wouldn't bet on it, um, but I would take it. So I've been trying to get that. So I wanted to show you um, what it's like before maybe everything goes, uh, goes really badly. So I will continue and come back soonish. Okay, I've decided to come back before even knowing if the stone's gonna work, uh, just because I wanted to update you again. So, I mean, this is the stone. Look at this very, very nice color there. Right now it's dry. My concern is that there are some things like here or here or I also saw something inside that I'm not certain if they are cracks or punch lines I'm I'm thinking punch lines but you're never sure the other issue is uh, I'm gonna have to wet it but basically you'll notice it doesn't look that great even uh, I don't there's something a bit strange I, I want to say in the the potch itself that make it kind of strange it, it's it's interesting but I feel like it never really faces well so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to keep trying I'm probably going to go more on this side um, because this side I do I do see here and here, but I'm kind of scared of losing 
this really nice patch if I if I grind more so I'm gonna keep going I might end up actually going at a bit of an angle because it looks like the color here is almost as good but I, I yeah I really wanted to show it to you before I possibly ruin it um, I still don't have high hopes, but we'll see. I really, I really do like that. I don't know. It looks like a claw to me. So yeah, I will keep working on it, and I will come back once again. Hopefully, it will be done. There won't be anything that I really want to show you. So I mean, it will be done to reveal the color and the the final plan, but. Let's get on it. And I'm back with the color finally, fully, completely revealed. And um, I'm a bit stuck. So you see the stone. Of course, right now it's completely dry. The color is fantastic. There's still the sand, but it's going to come out quite quickly. The issue I have is I have no idea what kind of shape I should put here. Because, okay, let's say I remove this. It's still kind of a weird shape. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna dry, I'm gonna make it wet just to, to do. So yeah, I'm really not sure what kind of shape I'm supposed to do here. I... I could see myself removing this corner, but maybe there's a tear teardrop shape that can be done if I remove this. That might be what I go for. But the color is fantastic. Uh, this is a. I feel like this is the kind of stone that would have the uh, value per carat in the hundreds um, if it were flawless which obviously it's not gonna be and also there's the uh, there's gonna be the whole issue of shape but still I think there's a very nice stone here so I'm gonna I'm gonna finish it I do think I'm gonna go for the for that uh, teardrop shape uh, because I don't think I'm losing such great color here anyway I'm losing some very directional uh, green but if I remove it I can keep more of that green and obviously all of that big green yellow flash so I will do this and I will come back to you with the Final product. And I am back with the final polished result, uh, and I'm quite happy with the polish actually. Uh, it's about 0.95 carat, and here it is. So pretty, uh, pretty nice stone. There are definitely some good things about it. There's also I don't know if I can get it on camera. Here. Here, there's a tiny line that you can see that's not great, but I think that's inside because I cannot, absolutely cannot get it out. But still pretty, pretty nice stone. It's an N4, uh, which means it's technically a black opal, a proper black opal. Uh, brightness of, I want to say three, um, because obviously, obviously it's the adding the the light right on it changes things but i don't think oh, there you see the line but i don't think anybody would argue that this is not a very good looking stone um so it's yeah 0.95 carat if this were a proper shape i would probably say that it's worth about 150 a carat 
but because it's because of the imperf well okay well, under fifty but then you remove let's say you remove some value for that so instead of a hundred fifty dollar stone I think it that properly shaped it would have been a maybe a hundred as it is I because it's freeform I would probably sell it for about. Fifty dollars, uh, because I do think that you can make. I, I do think that you can make something out of it, uh, in terms of jewelry. Maybe not a ring. Uh, maybe more of a pendant, because. Uh, because I do feel like rings are much better when they are, um, properly shaped. I think pendant you can get away with an unorthodox shape or, possibly earring if you somehow have a stone that's very similar to this one which is unlikely but stranger things have happened stranger things have happened um but yeah overall i'm pretty satisfied um i'm i i, I have to do a lot of catching up for my for my um page on the website but it's gonna be for sale for about uh i think yeah i think 60 australian dollars which is probably something around 45 us so that's gonna be it for this week and uh, next week i expect to have a video probably a short one and then it's gonna be vacations so i'm probably gonna not gonna put anything the week after uh we'll see how things goes but don't be shocked if there's nothing new uh, coming so that'll be it for this week as always feel free to like comment share subscribe all those fancy things and i will see you in the next one